Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel GK Airsoft. In this video, we are going to discuss about core and partition in Autosar operating system. If you are working with multi core ECUs like Infineon RX or NXP S32, this is a must known topic. First, we can start with what is Autosar operating system. Autosar operating system is a real time operating system for automotive applications that is based on the OSEK or VDX standard. It provides a standardized framework for developing and running software on electronic control unit. And it will ensure timing, scheduling and isolation. Basically, it decides which task runs when, where and how safely. And you can see this image. Here I have mentioned the core topic of Autosar operating system. And in modern vehicles, ECUs have multiple cores to handle complex features like ADAS, communication, and diagnostics. And Autosar OS is responsible for managing all those cores efficiently. And what is core in operating system? A core in Autosar refers to a CPU core, that means processor core, within a multi core microcontroller. And each core can independently execute its own set of tasks, ISR, and applications. But they share the same hardware, that means memory peripherals. Example, if you are using TC Infini Tricore RX TC39 in your project, then it has three cores like Core 0, Core 1, and Core 2. You can take one more example in a way Core 0 is going to handle communication task, and Core 1 is going to handle control task, and Core 2 is going to handle diagnostic task. So, then each core runs its own instance of the Autosar OS in the multi core perspective, and each core can schedule its own task independently. And the communication between core to core will happen via input core communication mechanism like shared memory or Autosar IOC, that means inter OS application communication. And core startup and synchronization are managed by the OS startup sequence. Here you can see the simple or sample OS configuration. For an example, in the OS general, you can see in your project, we have to mention that number of cores. So here I have mentioned three. At the same time, in the three number of cores three, which one is your master core? So here I have mentioned that OS core zero is a master core and you will have OS core one and core two as well. In your project, if you are getting the OS configurations or main the OS source things via object, uh, then from your stack vendor, then these are the configurations sometimes will be taken care by them. But in the OS general, this should be a configurable one. And what is a partition in Autosar operating system? A partition is a logical separation within a core. It is used to isolate software applications in both time and memory. And this is part of Autosar OS EK or VDX and ISO 26262 safety concept to ensure freedom from interference between applications. So in simple way, you can consider in a way partition is equal to sandbox that runs one or more OS applications with controlled access to memory and resources. So you can see here core 0 has two partition, partition A and partition B. So in the one example is partition A is for safety critical control logic and partition B for non-safety infotainment logic. If partition B crashes due to a memory fault, then OS contain the fault. That means partition B is stopped. Keep partition A running safely. And optionally, you can restart partition B alone. This is called application level fault containment. So what is the difference or what is the relationship between OS application and partition? So why we need to know about OS application in this perspective? So in our previous video, we clearly discussed about Autosar OS application. I have mentioned the link in the description. You can watch it. In Autosar, OS application is a logical container that groups together of task, ISR, alarm, events, counters and resources under a single protection domain. And each OS application represents one OS partition. And every OS application runs its own memory space. So as I mentioned, OS application means it's a group of OS objects plus protection domain, memory isolation and restart capability. 
and this will additionally provides memory protection fault containment enabling and support from freedom from interference iso 26262 so where this will fit in the autosar os architecture inside each ecu that means multi core mcus the autosar os runs multiple os application and each os application represents a software unit that can be isolated restarted or protected individually that meaning you have a core one there you can keep two os application one os application mainly for app safely this is i'm saying as an example and os application two for non-safety and both applications run under the same autos or os kernel instance but they are isolated so what is the difference between core and partition basically this is not a uh, real or good way to compare core and partition but even though just want to summarize it core is a physical cpu core but partition means it's a logical memory and isolation core will happen between cpu but partition will happen between the applications and core will be configured in the hardware level but partition mainly taken care in the os configuration side so the core if you take example we'll consider core 0 and core 1 in partition we can say it is partition a b c the os instance each core runs one but partition is multiple partitions within same core so what is the keynotes from this discussion so core means you know that it's a hardware level multiple execution and partition is software level protection and isolation so you can think of cores as a separate cpus in one chip and partitions as virtual rooms inside each cpu so once you get a clarity just go and see in your project about where os cores are started how it is getting started where it is configured and uh, where the partition is configured how the software components are mapped with the partition so how the partition is actually mapped with the os application and how os application is configured so those are the things you can see it in your project configuration hope you get a clarity about autosar os and autosar core and autosar os partition thank you so much have a nice day